Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on lowest common multiple. In order to find the lowest common multiple, we must be given at least two numbers. The abbreviation here is LCM. Example 1. Find the lowest common multiple of 8 and 12. So here are the multiples of 8. Here are the multiples of 12. The lowest common multiple is the smallest number in both lists and each of the numbers divide into it evenly. So here the LCM of 8 and 12 is 24 because that's the smallest number that occurs in both lists. Example 2. Find the LCM of 6, 10 and 15. Here are the multiples of 6, here are the multiples of 10, and here are the multiples of 15. The LCM is the smallest number in all three lists and each of the numbers divide into it evenly. So here the LCM of 6, 10 and 15 is 30 because that's the smallest number that occurs in all three lists. Example 3. The LCM is very very useful when we're adding fractions especially when the denominators are different. So finding the LCM of 4 and 6 the two numbers in the denominator is very helpful here. Let's see how it works and how it helps us to do this problem. The multiples of 4, which is this denominator here, are 4, 8, etc. There they are. The multiples of 6, which is this denominator, are these numbers here. So the LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. See? There it is there, 12 and 12. So we let that be the new denominator. And you'll find that 3 on 4 equals 9 on 12. 5 on 6 equals 10 on 12. But how did we actually get the 9 and the 10? Well, there are many ways you can do it, but here's a really simple way. 4 divided into 12 goes 3 times. 3 threes are 9. So 3 on 4 is 9 on 12. 6 goes into 12 twice. 2 fives are 10. So 5 over 6 is the same as 10 over 12. So 9 plus 10 all over 12 is 19 over 12, which is 1 and 7 twelfths. So that's a very, very useful way of adding fractions with different denominators. And we can use the LCM to help us. Now the LCM, the lowest common multiple, is very useful in doing particular problems that occur in everyday life. So it can be very, very useful. Let's look at this interesting example. John, Bill and Ted play tennis at regular intervals at the same tennis complex. John plays every fourth day, Bill plays every sixth day, and Ted plays every eighth day. If they all play on the 2nd of March, what is the next date when they will all play tennis together. Now, we're going to take or find the multiples of 4, 6 and 8 because they're the three numbers here that occur in the problem. The multiples of 4 are these. They're the multiples of 6 and they're the multiples of 8. The lowest common multiple of the above three numbers is 24 so they will all play tennis together 24 days later on the 26th day of March. See how they played on the second. 2 plus 24 is 26. So the next time they play tennis together will be the 26th day of March. Example 5. Here's another real world example. Sue and Mary each had a skipping rope of equal length. Sue cuts her rope into equal lengths of 3 metres, while Mary cuts her rope into equal lengths of 8 metres. If there was no remainder in both cases, find the shortest possible length of rope given to them. So one of them has a rope which is 
cut into lengths of three meters. The other one has a rope which has cut into lengths of eight meters. The multiples of three are these. The multiples of eight are these. Since the lowest common multiple of three and eight is 24, the shortest possible length is 24 meters. So how straightforward is that? So for example, if Sue cuts her rope into lengths of 3 meters and the rope is 24 meters long, she will have 8 lengths because 24 divided by 3 is 8. Mary cuts her rope into lengths of 8 meters, so she will have 3 equal lengths because 24 divided by 8 is 3. That's a very interesting real world example where you can use the lowest common multiple to solve the problem. Now you might ask, why would Sue and Mary want to cut their skipping rope up? Well, I have no idea. Maybe they have a craft, some craft idea in mind. Maybe they need those lengths to make something. We don't know, but this is a real world problem and the LCM helps us solve it.